Hello. So this is the complete book of caricature by Bob Stick. And it's got a variety of different artists represented. So for someone who is looking to get an idea of different kinds of styles, this is a great option. Now I'll also note, let me see when it's from. It is from 1991. So it is clearly not very recent. So a lot of the people shown are uh, older people. So if someone's doing modern things, they might not get inspiration for modern characters, but you could still get an idea of different styles and ways to draw things. So they talk about the history of caricatures and how they make political statements and how they uh, bring different kinds of issues to light. And they're also uh, used for entertainment. But part of the benefit of this is that you see all these different styles, like very clean styles or artistic styles, uh, sort of scribbly styles. So it's useful to see how a whole bunch of different artists approach the top of a caricature. And it could be that you look at one and say, oh, I'm just not interested in that because that's too, I don't know, simple. But, oh, I'm really interested in this one because it's got all the shading and more realism style. So that's part of what I like about this book. Um, being a person of this era, <laughs> I recognize a lot of these styles and they have nostalgic value to me. But we've got a, you know, very uh, scratchy kinds of styles. So a lot of this is the history of caricature rather than a how-to, but there are so many different artists represented that it is really useful to go through, get a sense of what they were trying to achieve, why they approached it in a certain kind of way, what their audience was. And then, you know, when you have a specific person and then see all the different ways this one person was represented, that helps you get a sense of um, how emphasizing different parts can have a different impact on readers. So again, it could be that some styles appeal to you, some styles don't appeal to you, and that is perfectly fine. That's part of being an artist and getting a sense of what you enjoy. And you know, it might be that sometimes you draw one way and other times you draw another way, and that's also fun too talks a little bit about how you approach what parts of the face to emphasize. But, you know, again, clearly this is not a step-by-step how-to thing. It's more of a philosophy of doing caricatures and how an artist who already knows how to do facial drawings approaches uh, individual people in the market that they're looking to get into. Talk about you can work from photographs, work from real life. <laughs> Depends on what you've got available to you. Working from video. And, you know, part of it depends on if you are doing this to make a political point about someone or if you're sitting in a fair and you're trying to make pictures for people that they'll want to bring home and hang up, they probably want the picture to be a little more flattering or cute. And then we get some profiles about the artist, about their background and their philosophy on drawing and painting. So this is a very nice book for a caricature person to have, to use as reference and inspiration. But it's not a book that someone who wants to get into doing caricature could necessarily use as a starting point because it doesn't have that kind of starting point material in it. So let me know if you have any questions.